Hello, hello, and welcome to what's going to be my clear for mission six. So let's talk about this boss. This boss is actually very easy. I think most people are not gonna have a problem with him, quite frankly. But um, I there's a safe and a bit of a riskier strategy to do this boss. The riskier strategy is to get on his back in the beginning parts when he's gonna shoot you with the lasers and I know that a lot of people say the lasers don't hit you if you're standing on the opposite side of them. I got hit. Okay, I got hit. I don't buy that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just don't. So what I usually prefer to do is sit on this building because you don't have to be on his back in order to reach him with the gun. You can actually sit on these buildings and just reach him with the gun and no um the punchline does not get him from here you are actually too far away for punchline so that's the reason why you don't see me equipping punchline here because it's um it takes too long and the boss is doing this because he thinks that you're on his back because that's how you're supposed to be playing this boss but <laughs> uh no and as soon as i see the lasers i just jump like for me what has gotten me hit throughout this boss because again i'm going for no damage is the lasers so that's why i prefer to just sit here and uh, target the boss and he will essentially do laps between these two buildings and randomly get on top of them and um you will have Three instances in which V will take down the boss and you'll be able to do a lot of damage to him which is why I have buster arms I have more buster arms than I needed I'm gonna be perfectly honest and the reason why you're seeing this footage on Dante must die instead of on uh, uh, hell and hell is because it literally is the same strategy but on my hell and hell recording I just didn't think of using the buster arms because it was the beginning of my strategy and the buster arms actually do a lot of more damage so i thought this would be the better footage to post because it actually does reduce some of your time plus i found that um what this boss has for a dt is actually just the berserk stage which he uses on every difficulty except you will still be doing normal damage to him because he doesn't gain armor so even on uh so this is the one instance where he's actually uh let's say harder on dante must die because you do less damage but uh, saying that this boss is harder on any difficulty is uh well a little bit weird I know technically speaking I account I'm not doing the most amount of damage because if I was on his back I would be doing a lot more damage but I found this to be the safer strategy just keeping my distance and there he goes that's the first time he goes down and he's gonna sit there and wait for a cutscene to trigger but this is the only time he's gonna sit there and wait for a cutscene to trigger if you're not prepared the next time he goes down and he goes down three times uh, you're not gonna be able to reach him in time and i struggled here a little bit but the game still does give you if you hit him a couple of times the game still does give you the opportunity to buster arm him because his brain has to be like all black not glowy for you to buster arm him and that is not a grab that's a buster arm charge because the buster arm does more damage uh, you will actually see uh, way better damage on <laughs> what the hell than that <laughs> because 25% uh, extra defense or whatever <laughs> or health or whatever <laughs> anyway um, now that was the first part then there's the, the for the second part oh yeah those uh, small little torrents that come after you you can shoot them down you can absolutely shoot them down with the gun. But for the most part, I'm just struggling to stay out of the laser sight whenever I see it. And uh, I just charge my gun, I shoot him. Charge my gun again, I shoot him. It's a very repetitive process. And as soon as I see the lasers, I just jump off because it can't hit me when it doesn't see. 
Uh, you can avoid the lasers by sticking around on the roof and zigzagging. I still got hit sometimes because if you um, if you randomly uh, get stuck, right? Because there's a couple of environment stuff over there that can get you stuck. And if you randomly get stuck on them, the laser will hit you. And I got hit like that a couple of times and I don't like it. Um, I don't like it at all. And he's going to have... Like I would say I didn't play perfectly even on this one because uh, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll have a couple of stages like this when he is just stationary and throwing out his little dive bombs or whatever they are called. Uh, actually, that's going to pop after this because this is the second time that he goes down and the second time you can buster arm him. And you'll see me do just that after I flail around for a little bit because no that <laughs> me and the consistent attacking is a problem in this game um, <laughs> and uh, this during this part I actually did make a mistake but during this next couple of parts I, I also have an extra buster arm which is not useful three of them is you know because you get only three guaranteed stuns and you will get these um like the only time when he skips one of these is if you're you know really good and you actually do damage to him <laughs> unlike you know what i'm doing but if you're just running around and constantly doing these small little amounts of damage to him like i am doing um you will guarantee get all three of the interventions when he is uh, stuck on the ground these are supposed to mirror i believe these encounters with them in chapter <laughs> in the previous chapter but i didn't encounter him in the previous chapter as v and it still doesn't matter because i still get the stuns so very funny now this is the point where i messed up because now he's gonna camp that building and i found that this is very consistent and he's going to send out his little air his little whatever are these, these little missiles i could have been on his back and done so much damage to him at this point because he quite literally just sits there the lasers like look at how long he sits there <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity when you see him go on that building and do that stance this is actually the perfect opportunity to just get on top of him and do a lot of damage because all you need to do is dodge these things once when they hit him when they land on him and then you can just wail on him. I missed this opportunity entirely. <laughs> this could have been so much damage that I just missed out on because uh, safety first. And sometimes safety first is like I would have been really safe uh, there. At that point, I would have been really safe. And that's the third time that he goes down. He will not go down after this. So this is the only time which means you don't need any more buster arms uh, so I wasted a lot of damage by not going there by not going and attacking him while he was doing his little damagey thing and I wasted a lot of damage uh, by bringing another buster arm so that was not good at this point he would have been almost dead if i had just been on his back and now he's gonna go berserk this will happen on any difficulty it doesn't matter if you are on um dante must die on dante must die he just gains devil trigger that's the only difference but he will go berserk and start um doing the spiky things and now you can sit on his back forever because the lasers are not gonna attack you and when he does this i just pull myself towards him that's all i'm doing there i'm pulling myself towards him so that he doesn't randomly push me off and when he starts calming down i just go in for damage and there it is he's doing the attacks that i could have avoided previously when he was on the building like that's all you need to do you just jump you see them land there you just jump three times in the air because nero can triple jump and then you're back wailing on him which is the reason why I say I did miss out on quite a bit of damage by not um, 
by not being there and uh, you will see that he will not use the lasers he's just gonna use these little whatchamacallit spikes which are very easy to dodge and as soon as he starts charging i start pulling myself towards him just to not fall off of him because i don't fancy falling off of him at this point um because i can just stay on top of him and kill him he's not gonna be doing too much uh he's not gonna be he, he's gonna try you saw the little laser there trying to start and hit me but it never does like he he just runs around and again i saw this on all difficulties not on just dante must die no you you can't grab him so i thought i could grab him there i can't I would have recommended that at this point in time, especially when you're on top of him, just have a punchline and you can hit him with punchline and he would have been dead faster. You could have just sent punchline at him. You don't need more than three buster arms. You can just have three buster arms for when he guarantees stuns and one punchline to continuously just have an extra chip damage while you're... Uh, damaging the brain because uh, buster will stick to the brain if you release it there um not buster punchline i mean punchline will stick to the brain but at this point he's already dead like he quite literally is already dead i'm just waiting for his little things to explode so that i don't get myself blown off and there he is he's dead and that is no damage very easy, this boss is free, okay. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.